Hello everyone. So I just wanted to share a short story with you guys. So this just happened yesterday. So I was traveling with my family from this place, which is called Bita in Bihar, to a place called Barakhapur. Okay, also in Bihar, and it has one of the biggest temples in Bihar. So we just wanted to visit it. And as we didn't know the way to that, we just went to our trusted Google Map, which was one of the, which was a big mistake. Okay. So we just went along the navigation which Google Map offered, and there were three ways. Okay, the Google Map was showing three ways, and obviously it uh, chose the shortest way for us to go there. Okay, it chose the shortest way, the least time-consuming way for us to go there. And that way, halfway it was good, and after halfway it had roads like this. I'll just show you. So this is the path that we took from Beta Chowk to Bakhalapur Mandir, where we wanted to visit Bakhalapur Mandir, and these were the roads. So this was one of the roads where Google Map asked us to take our car through. So how can someone take their four wheeler through this road or through this road? Okay, I think bikes can hardly pass through here. But how can someone actually take their four wheeler, take their car, and take go through this place, man? Like how? How according to Google Maps are, am I supposed to take my car through this place? So these are I just clicked two pictures, but there were tons of road like these. Okay, where hardly human beings can comfortably pass, let alone a car. So these this was the situation of half of the roads there. So it had road like roads like these, okay, in which even human beings can comfortably pass through, and they're asking for a car to go through there, you know. And I made sure two three times that I had put the settings of a car in there, you know, and I had put the settings of a car. So they were asking for a car to go through these places, and these places I'll tell you are still were still okay, okay. We just somehow by you know finding another way, we went through these uh, path that I just showed you in the picture. Now there was one path. Okay, which was really dangerous. So I, there was one road. I can't even call it a road. Okay, so there was one path. It was like this. Okay, and it was fully muddy. And on the right hand side there was a slope. On the left hand side there was a slope. Okay, and the car was barely fitting on it. Okay, and dad was driving, and you know, so the car was just going through that. <laughs> and halfway through, the mud on the right just slipped fully. Okay, and the road became half of what it was from the front and from the back. So you cannot go front in the front. You cannot go forward. You cannot go backward. But luckily, my dad is great at driving, so he somehow managed to get us through that road, and we somehow reached the place. Okay, now while coming back, we didn't want to trust Google Maps again, so we just asked a bunch of locals. We asked locals what is a better way, and the locals told us another way, and that way was good. It had the national highway, it had good roads. Okay, and surprisingly, that way was also being shown in Google Map, but that way was shown to be thirty minutes slower. Okay. And that road was shown to be thirty minutes faster, but surprisingly, while we took that road, it was instead of being thirty minutes slower, it turned out to be twenty five minutes faster because that road was just you know that road was not at all good, and this road, even though it may have taken a lot like longer distance, that road was faster because the road was okay, and this road it was just you know pathetic in a pathetic situation. So my point is, guys. See, Google Maps is amazing. Okay, whenever I go in a good place, I just trust Google Map. So if you're in a good place, if you're in a city, then just close your eyes and trust Google Map. Just listen to the voice of navigation and drive through. But if you're in a village area, then you need to have your, especially in an area like Bihar or in most of the places in India, then you need to have your eyes open, ask locals, and then take through. Otherwise, if you trust Google Maps completely, then it's gonna get you in a dangerous kind of situation. Okay. And I'll be making a different video on why this is happening and why it's so difficult, why it's so complicated in village areas for Google Maps to be accurate. So I'll be making a separate video for that. But till now, just this story which just happened yesterday. So that's all. See ya.